12.37 two days ago it would charge up and hold it pretty much for a day or two around 12.52 and two days it's dropped down to 12.37 but i want you to listen to how well it starts okay just for grins let's go to voltage Now, of course, after a little hesitation, there's our 14 volts. Pretty good number, it's what we're looking for. Now let's lift the battery terminal and test those batteries with a 100 amp load tester and one of the modern capacitance tester. We'll do that with it off. Okay, we're hooked up. We lifted the negative terminal on the driver's side battery. Got here, see a roll of black tape to keep it away from everything. About 12.3 now, according to this. And I checked this with a $300 Fluke DMM. It's very accurate. It's almost dead nuts on. Okay, let's hit the 100 amp load switch and watch it drop. These are 730 CCA batteries, 730 cold cranking amps. So you're looking at the green between the six and the eight. Okay, we go with the switch. And now we're drawing. And we're right on that's, I'd like to go no more than five seconds on this. It gets very hot up here. We're basically right on the line on the 800. What the 100 amp load test is actually telling us, it's not good and it's not bad. It's just actually starting to hit the weak zone. But now the next test is interesting. Okay, we've got the Foxwell. This is the battery analyzer BT705. And just that little run right there took the voltage to 12.4. Let's go to the menu. We're just going to do a test with an in-truck, 12 volt, it is in vehicle. We're not going to test the alternators, so we could actually select out of vehicle. I'll show you what I mean. we just leave it in vehicle. This tester has been awful nice. It is top post. It is AGM. I think it's AGM. I can't find anything on this battery that states AGM, and there's not that much difference. I've tested it both ways. We'll leave it AGM. We're going to do the CCA, the cold cranking amps, because that we know the value of that. This is 730. We'll scroll her down to 730. Now we're going to hit enter. The test just takes a few seconds. Now there we have it. There's our volts. Out of 730 cold cranking amps on the battery listed, it's only measuring 497. But here's the most important thing. Well, that's pretty important right there because you're way off. Now we're getting into the state of health. The state of health on this battery being 69%. State of charge, 80%. Resistance, I haven't gotten into just what that's telling me. What I look at is the state of health and state of charge. All my past experience, when the battery hits 70% or less state of charge, it may take a charge good and it may start good right now, but it's about 65 degrees out. But as soon as I have a morning where it's below freezing, there's no start. It, it'll just grunt. So even though it charges good and starts good now, the 100 amp load test, but keep in mind too, that the 100 amp load test, that's only about one fifth of what that starter will draw on these two batteries. I think state of health is, is the key thing we need to look at here. Now let's go look at some brand new AGM diehards, 850 CCA batteries that are going in their place. Also, I wanna add that this truck has never had any issue starting, even in the winter time, and I've never had any kind of a check engine light, low battery lights, Okay, here's the new diehards. They are 850. Just pick these up in advance. AGM is all I'll buy from now on. They don't outgas, they don't vent. Therefore, you have very little corrosion to worry about. We got both testers hooked up. Reading 12.64 volts on the Foxwell. It's going back and forth. This meter is hooked up and it is reading about the same thing 12.6. Okay, here we go with the 850 cold cranking amp with a 100 amp load test. There we go. Well into the green. You gotta like that. Now let's get an accurate state of health on it. Menu. I'm gonna go out of vehicle on this one because it is. Some test does not know the difference. It is AGM, CCA. Now we gotta go up to 850. So we're getting a pretty Quite a bit more powerful battery to begin with. There's our 850 dialed in. Check that out. Of course, brand new battery. 913 CCA. 
The state of health should be 100%. State of charge, that's about right. Look at that resistance. We was over five. The OEM batteries in the RAM. I have not used this enough on enough batteries to get a good feel for what it means on the resistance. And I think that's the key, the state of health. That's 69% on that. When I checked that about five days ago, I was getting about 83%. The state of charge on that truck was about 85%. Hey, thanks for watching. Drive safe out there. Have a good one.